welcome back to my channel my name is Xenia Chopra and today's video is really exciting because this video is the battle of the concealers yes the most talked about concealer at the moment is the makeup revolutions conceal and define concealer so in this video I want to find out whether this concealer is really up to scratch as my favorite Tarte Shape Tape Concealer or is this going to become my new favorite? So if you want to find out my thoughts, my review and see my application, then please keep watching. But before I jump into this video, you know what to do. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. The links are all down below in the info box. Now let's get started. Before I start on with the full review and application of my makeup, I want to ask you guys something. So can you guys tell which side is Tarte Shape Tape and which side is the Makeup Revolutions Concealer? Can you? I promise you can't, but neither can I. If I hadn't applied it on myself, I wouldn't be able to tell you either which side is which. So I have two shades of the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and ever since I got my hands on it last year, I have not used any other concealer um, at all and haven't even wanted to try anything else as well. So the two shades that I have are, one is the Light Medium, and the other one is the medium shade, which I only just purchased last week. But I also want to show you the Makeup Revolution products, the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealers. I picked up three of the shades. Uh, first one is C7, the second one is C8, and the third one is a contour shade, which is C13. <music> First of all, let's just compare the product. So the Shape Tape bottle and here is the Makeup Revolutions Conceal and Define bottle. Um, if you look at the size, this is definitely a lot bigger. You get about 10 milliliter in the Tarte Shape Tape, whereas you get about 3.4 milliliters of product in the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define product. So you definitely get a lot more uh, product in this Shape Tape uh, concealer bottle. So the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer is available for £22 on the Tarte Cosmetics website whereas the Makeup Revolution Concealer, the Conceal and Define Concealer is available for £4 you guys. Yes, you heard that right. That wasn't a mistake. It is available for £4 only. So basically you get about five and a half concealers for the price of one Tarte Shape Tape. Hmm, interesting, right? This one is not so easy to obtain in the UK because you do have to get it shipped from Tarte Cosmetics in the US or you can buy it, of course, um, at QVC where they sell it for £28 along with the blending sponge as well. Whereas this one is available all over UK across any of the super drug stores. And did I say it was for £4? I did. Now, let's talk about the shades. So the Tarte Shape Tape comes in 15 different shades, whereas the Makeup Revolution Concealer is available in 18 different shades. Uh, yeah, so they launched a new concealer and they straight away brought out 18 different shades. Well, that in my book is well done already. Also, in terms of the packaging, I think both the packagings are pretty good. They are both glass bottles. Yep, that is. Um, I always like the Tarte uh, packaging. So this one as well, when it comes to packaging, I think is quite slick. It looks quite high end despite its price. Let's go ahead and open both these concealers. So when you open this, the wand of the Tarte Shape Tape is quite thick, as you can see over here, and it's quite long as well. Whereas the wand of the Makeup Revolution Concealer is just as thick as the Tarte Shape Tape, but is a tad bit smaller. Let's go ahead and start applying these products um, and then find out together how this product wears on my skin and whether this will be a good substitute for Tarte Shape Tape. 
The first thing we're going to do, as always, um, you can see I've already done my eyes, well, the top part of my eyes, of course. Um, I'm going to start off with my foundation. So the foundation that I'm using today is by L'Oreal. This is the 24-hour infallible Stay Fresh Foundation, and this is in the shade 260 or Golden Sun. So what I'm going to do is apply the Shape Tape Concealer on my left side, whereas I'm going to apply the Makeup Revolution Concealer on my right side. I think that way we'll really be able to tell which comes out better and which side is looking better, or if any at all. So on my left hand side, I'm going to apply the shade um, in Medium, which is this one by Tarte Shape Tape. And on my right side, I'm going to use the shade uh, C8 by Makeup Revolution, which is this one. I'm just going to apply the concealer in the usual areas that I like to apply, which is of course under my eyes, uh, the top of my forehead, the sides of my nose, um, and also towards the outer corners of my mouth. On to trying out the Makeup Revolution Concealer in the shade C8. Okay, instantly I can tell that there's a difference in the consistency of this product. This is definitely a little bit lighter in consistency when you compare it to Shape Tape. The moment of truth is here, my loves. We need to blend these babies and see how both the sides turn out. So I'm going to take my damp Micro Mini Beauty Blender and blend both the sides out. Okay. This is blending quite easily and it's very good coverage, wow! And I have really bad dark circles. Oh my god. This is blended so beautifully. Honestly, I look like I've just been airbrushed. Wow. I'm impressed. Okay, let's go ahead and blend the left side out as well. And for that, I'm going to use my same sponge that I used to apply the foundation because I don't want to mix up both the concealers together. I cannot believe this. Wow. There is literally no difference between the two. And there is a huge amount of difference in the price. One is £22 and the other is like a meager £4. But why spend £22 if I can spend £4 and look exactly as good as £22? Right? Okay, let's go ahead and apply some setting powder as well um, and see how it works out after applying the setting powder. So I'm going to use my new favorite powder, which is by e.l.f. Cosmetics, and this is their Corrective Yellow Powder. So while my face is baking, why don't we go ahead and try the contour shade as well from the Makeup Revolution Concealer Collection. Now, the shade that I picked up is called C13. I'm going to use this shade C13 on my right side, the same side that we applied the concealer earlier as well. And then for my left side, you guys know that I like to use the L'Oreal's Perfect Touch Concealer in the shade Mahogany. So I'm going to use that. So one of the things that I hate about cream contour products is that if you let them sit on your skin um, for maybe a couple of minutes or so, it gets very, very hard and very difficult to blend. So what I want to try and see if this, when I let it sit for maybe a minute or so, if it's still easy enough to blend or um, does it get quite difficult to blend. Okay, let's go ahead and apply the L'Oreal Perfect Match Concealer in the shade Mahogany on the other side now. Oh God, this is going to be way darker. Okay, I'm just going to use very little. There's definitely a lot of difference between the two shades, 
But here we're testing the quality of the product and how it sits on my skin. Again, it's blending quite easily. And despite letting it sit for a couple of minutes or maybe two minutes, it's very easy to blend. And you know what? I'm actually liking this shade quite a lot. To blend the contour on the other side, I'm going to use the Huda Beauty foundation brush. See, this is what I mean with the spots because I've left it on for a couple of minutes now. So they're going to be these spots and they're going to be much harder to blend. I'm going to blend the right side with the Zoeva 109 face paint brush. And I'm going to blend the left side with a MAC Oval 3 brush. I am absolutely blown away by this four pound product. The um, contour is amazing. It's basically going to replace my most favorite product, a uh, cream contour product um, of 2017. Now let's do one thing. Let's go ahead and dust off the excess powder from underneath our eyes as well and see how the concealers have reacted to the setting powder. Can you guys tell the difference? I honestly can't tell the difference between both the sides. Anyways, I'm going to finish off the rest of my face. So in the end, my final verdict is that I absolutely salute Makeup Revolution for bringing out such a high quality product. I mean, not only is it very cost effective for four pounds, it's easily available in the UK. The quality of the product is like a high end product. It was very easy to apply. It was very easy to blend. Uh, my dark circles have practically vanished. I mean, not practically, they have vanished. You cannot see them. Um, there was no creasing that went on after the application. And again, I just simply cannot get over the price. It's four pounds. So if you guys are on a budget and you're looking for a concealer, then you guys, this is something you have to have to try. And I promise you, you will give up whatever concealer that you have been using like i'm going to give up my ex favorite tarte shape tape and my new favorite which is the makeup revolutions conceal and define concealer so that's it you guys that was my review if you enjoyed my review please remember to give this video a big thumbs up now i'm going to say goodbye and take your leave and hopefully see you all next week when i'm back with another video actually on that note i have a little surprise for you guys next week but you will only find out if you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification button till then you guys know what to do be good take care of yourselves miss me as always and i'll see you all very soon Mwah. bye